Hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Uh, it's been a while that we haven't posted any tutorial and obviously that is because of obviously a good deed. If you have watched our previous video, you could see that we are building this amazing UI library, which we named it Kotus UI library. It's something that is now out there for experimental purposes. You can start using it and playing with it. It's not good released yet because there are some things that we need to work on and fix but if you go to kotus.com you will see that it's pretty much out there a good documentation how to use it and uh, yes so yesterday i stumbled upon volvo cars website and i thought maybe as a starter it's going to be a good start if we try to sort of replicate or recreate some of the things that you know we see in the other websites using Kotus library. So I thought maybe for the starter, we're gonna start building this top navigation from volvocars.com. So in the documentation, if you go to the kotus.com, there is a section for navigations. If you go inside it, obviously it has some information, you know, usage, how to use it, behavior, different types of it. Uh, so I'm not going to bother you. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start building this uh, top navigation over here or recreating it. As always, I'm going to go to codet.io, the online code editor that we are using. And going back to the navigation, obviously in order to use the library in the installation part, there are two things that you need to include in your project. One is the CSS style sheets of the library and one is the JavaScript. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Uh, you cannot, if you're not using any online editors and it's on your computer file, you just copy the whole thing here and put it on the head. And as it's written here for the JavaScript part, you put it down there. So Going back, copying the URL from here, I'm going to code it. I'm just going to select the, uh, I'm going to select the, this gear icon here to include the CSS and for the JavaScript, same thing, but the suffix is JS. So now the library is included here. Um, so as you can see here, this top navigation really has three parts one is the logo one navigation or sub navigation over here and one over here so going back to the code who's documentation clicking on the navigation you'll see that uh, to create a navigation you need to copy this part so i'm just going to copy this and paste it here in my html as you can see you already have a navigation ready uh, going back to the, I'm just going to remove these parts here. Going back here, you know, one idea is that you have a header element and then inside it you have a div with the class CDT top nav and then border for sort of having this nice border effect when you hover and the selected item. But the other way is obviously I don't really need the header uh, or the div inside, I can just attach these to the head itself and remove the uh, div inside. So I'm just going to do that. And now you'll see that we have the same thing. So I just removed that extra div inside and attach the classes that I want to the actual header like this, right? So basically you have border option here, you have highlight which turns it to highlight like this, which is cool. And then obviously you have underline. And if you notice here in volvocars.com, they are using the same, you know, effect, which is underline. So I'm just going to leave it over here. Just changing these, you have cars, shopping tools and own. So I'm just going to go ahead and change this to cars. And then I'm just going to say shopping cards and then own this one is extra and then what we have here is another navigation which is actually aligned to the right right and in order to do that it's actually pretty easy 
the Kotus library automatically accepts one and two uh, sort of navigations or sub navigations. So I basically need to copy this nav within the navigations and then paste it again over here. And it automatically creates an as the second navigation. So as you can see here, we have four elements, inventory, certified, pre-owned, build process. So maybe I just can copy and paste them. I'm going back here. We have this. Okay, it's actually copying everything. So I'm just going to type it. Inventory. I guess the next one was certified pre-owned, build and price, and find a dealer. So this one will be certified pre-owned. And then you have build and price. So build and price. And then you need one more. And then that one more will be the find a dealer, uh, as I remember. So find a dealer. So there is no selected sections in this. Uh, I'm just going ahead and remove the selected ones uh, from the LIs because they don't need to initially be selected. Now, the second thing that you need to do is just setting the, the logo to the center. I'm actually for the educational purposes, go ahead and copy the image address here. And then going back to my markup, there is a section which is denoted by div class logo. So, uh, and there is a link in it. Instead of logo here, I'm just gonna say image, and then I'm pasting the address. So as you can see, it comes over here. Now in the CSS, I'm just going to size it. So basically, I'm just going to say logo and then IMG, maybe uh, width of uh, maybe 50 pixel. And then it kind of puts it over here. Um, and in order to center it, the only thing you need to do, and this is again, Kotus takes care of it, is to add a class called center. And as you can see, it centers the element within the page, right? So maybe even less here, or actually what I can do is that I can say CDT uh, sort of uh, the navigation class that I have over here. I can just say navigations, or actually let's do this. So I know that the header has the CDT top nav, which recreates this. So if I do CDT top nav, I give it a height of maybe 70 pixel, uh, maybe even more 80 pixel, maybe even more 90 pixel. You'll see that we already have very similar to what they have created. So now I just change this to maybe 60 and you can see that we pretty much have a similar menu Super easy, as you could see, with just a little bit of a CSS that you need to add for yourself. And then you already have recreated the navigations of the Volvo cars right over here. The other thing that I noticed is that if you go to the cars and select a car, let's say this one, you will see another navigation down here, right? So this is the top navigation and there is a navigation down here. Now, one of the cool things with Kotus UI library is that it gives you access or the possibility to create a secondary navigation down here. So in order to make this one, what you can do is within the HTML, when you have these navigations, you can actually, I'm just gonna copy the navigation from here, right? and paste it again, removing obviously some of these, this extra navigation over here. So now, as you can see, we have an extra navigation, but obviously it overlaps. Now what you need to do to define that it's a secondary navigation is to add the class CDT second nav, right? And now you can see that you already have a second navigation down here. Now, one of the things with the code whose navigation is that it has uh, themes defined. So if I say dark, it will darken this one over here. 
Now here, as you can see, the, the items are aligned to the right. So what I can do is really attach another class called right. And you can see that it automatically jumps over there, right? So we already using no CSS at all. And with a little bit of a markup that you can actually see in the documentation over here, we have recreated the Volvo cars navigation, right? So I'm just going to change it to 50 over here and maybe now one of the things I need to mention is that when you actually add a secondary navigation in order to set the height of this upper part, since the upper part is actually navigations over here, what you need to do is to change this to navigations and then in the menu here, as you can see the navigations, I'm just going to switch to this layout over here so that it's easier. Here you can see that the first element uh, inside our CDT top nav is a logo and the second one is a navigations, the main one on top. And then the third one is the navigations or the second navigation we have uh, in the menu. So in order to select this, I just need to say here, I'm switching back here so that we can see the full thing here. I'm just going to say navigations and then nth child and I'm just going to say two, right? Going back and saving this, you'll see that we have our navigation down here. You know, we have set the height of this to 90 pixel, maybe even 80 pixel like this. So it looks all right. There are two cool things with uh, the navigation in the Kotus UI. So if I, after the header, add a main, just want to sort of simulate or emulate a very long page because right now it's only header. I'm just going to say main that I added here. I'll set a big height on it, like thousand pixels, right? So now you can see that you can actually scroll down. Now, two of the cool things that you can do with the navigation, which denotes in Kotus library with CDT top nav, is to say, I want this to be sticky, right? So if I write it correctly, so sticky now, if you scroll down, you will see that the navigation sort of sticks to the top of the page. The other cool thing, and you can see it in the Kotus library here, in the sort of the secondary navigation down here, and also, uh, yeah, exactly. So in the second navigation, you can also, instead of a sticky, say hide on scroll class add that and now look at how cool it is if I start scrolling it will scroll it will hide the top part but then this one the secondary navigation is now stuck to the to the top of the page right so you're gonna get this very cool effect without any specific you know a lot of you know CSS on your behalf because Kotus library already takes care of it um, you can create and recreate pretty much any navigation that you want. So also, as you can see, it's responsive as well. So if you are on the mobile view, it's actually responsive. So yeah, so I think it pretty much covers this video. As you could see, we could really create this awesome navigation and recreate this awesome navigation over here using the Kotus library. Go ahead and experiment with it. I'm sure you will find a lot of things that are unexpected. By the way, the other thing that I realized is that if you haven't subscribed to the channel, obviously, please go ahead and subscribe. But I realized that if you subscribe to the channel and do not click on the bell icon close to the subscribe, you're not going to be notified when we upload a new video. So please go ahead and do. And yeah, with that said, I think uh, I'm done with this one. And let me know if you have any questions, any specific you know, requests, anything that you want to be added, go ahead to the kothus.com and try all these cool stuff. Uh, one of the cool things that we are working on in the components section is this scroll story, for example, it's actually a pretty cool thing. If you start, for example, scrolling in this page, you will see that it actually starts some parallax effect based on the position 
of your scroll bar so you can create a lot of cool effects down here we also added the carousel which is also the other cool thing so you can actually have this cool carousel with a lot of functionalities actually that you can see in this table over here you can obviously go ahead and check a, check the HTML as the CSS even clicking on the edit on Codity and start playing with it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I wish you the best day and night and see you next time. Bye.